A common scenario in Excel could be getting data that's in a column into a row. There are a couple very quick ways to do this. And let's say, you know, you only have a couple things you need to get over from my column into a row. There's a couple really fast functions. You can type equal to row. You can double click. And so the array, you can just grab an array and hit enter and goes from a column to row. You can also do vice versa equals to call or to column. You can grab data in a row, hit enter, and it will put that datum data into a column. So there's another quick function as well. You can type equal transpose and just grab data that is in a column, hit enter. It automatically detects that it's column, not a row. If you do the opposite, transpose, grab data that's in a row, it will automatically go to a column. So delete that. And there's an even quicker way. So say you just copy data that's in a column. This also works for a row. We'll do vice versa. You can hit paste special and there will be an option to transpose and it will keep the exact formatting. So in this case, we wanna get rid of these borders because it copied the exact outside borders. And if we copy data that's in a row, do the same exact paste special to transpose it, it will go into a column. So that's the quickest way. But let's say we have a scenario where, you know, we have data that's separated by space that just, you know, goes on for thousands of rows and we want to get a nice table, you know, or some, some way of viewing this data in a clean, easy to use, you know, row by row instead of one long column where it's extremely hard to see the data. So we're gonna need to use a function and the function we're gonna wanna use will be almost exactly what we just used with transpose, but it's gonna be an if statement. And I'm going to make this Excel worksheet available on my website. If you go down in the description, there'll be the Excel helps GitHub page. So if you want to see it and kind of play around with it, to, you know, gain a better knowledge of it and gain some experience using it. So this if will be could either be transpose, which we can use, or you could use two row or two column. So if you can think of this um, as vice versa, if you have something that spans in columns instead of a row, do the exact same formula, but opposite. So our array will be here and we can put an end parentheses. And if this equals double quotes, which is a blank in Excel, comma, the value, if that's true, will be another blank and value false will be the exact same formula at the beginning, the transpose for D2 through D4. And then an end parentheses. So if we copy this down, you'll see that, you know, in the columns where it's blank, and that's because it's moving down each row, it comes up with a blank and it has kind of a separated three rows that's offset. So it doesn't look good. It wouldn't be easy to, you know, really filter through. So if we just include or insert three columns over here to the left, we can just drag this over. It would be a formula and drag it down and just get rid of this. We're gonna need to create another formula that will make sure that all of these cells are filled. And by doing this, you know, we'll have a nice clean table to index from and look from, especially if we have tons of data, you can just drag it straight down and then start your own template. So if you ever need to paste the same data over again, it will automatically format for you. So this will be an equal if. And then we're going to type an and in there. So we're saying that if this cell doesn't equal, which is a less than, then a greater than, another blank, which is double quotes, 
and this doesn't equal blank and this will be h2 here so we'll just type that in because i can't grab it doesn't equal blank then end this parentheses to say that if all of those are true as in they don't equal blank we will just take the values of f2 through h2 but there's a little hashtag here since this is a formula that we created and if this is false meaning that you know there are some spaces in between here we will just come back with a blank so if we hit enter you can see that if we copy this down this time there isn't any blanks what you're going to want to do is just hide these columns and so it doesn't look so nice with all these blanks in between and imagine if this just kept going down and down there'd be so many blanks but what you can do is go to the data tab and click filter and so now if you go to name age or occupation you can just unselect blanks and you can also hide this initial tab where the data is now you're just left with you know going through and filtering in only the data that you want to see is now in this little table or this filtering device that you know we created through a couple formulas and that can save you a lot of time if this is something you do all the time and that's all i have in this video please like subscribe and comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching